right, hi girls. This is for lesson uh, 52. It's called the floss rule. This is a really simple lesson because we've already been doing this. Okay, so you have to bear with me because I'm gonna write in here. So our floss rule deals with words like sniff, okay, boss, and bell. And you're like, why did you choose those words, Mrs. Freudenberg? Well, let me show you. All three of those words end with a double, con uh, double consonant, yes. So you have FF, SS, and LL. Now, in order for the floss rule to work, your vowel has to say its sound not its name. So just a reminder, a sound has the breath I, A, E. Okay? Now, those come after words that have a blend, sn, a very common blend, or just a single letter, B. Okay? It's not going to work on the word frog because I don't need to use the floss rule with GG. It does say ah, but I know that in order to spell frog, it's going to look silly if I add another G. So we just don't worry about that when it comes to frog. So that's what we're going to be doing. So if you read your um, words at the top, it says when a one syllable root word. So you know that a one syllable is one clap, okay? Ends with the letter F, T, or S after a short vowel sound. So F, my, my, my bad, not T. <laughs> I'm reading that wrong. L or S after a short vowel it is usually spelled F, F, L, L, S, S. Okay, so those are the three letters that we will double. So let's go ahead and get started. So for today, let's go ahead and just write the sounds. Okay, so you can go ahead and fill in your sound bars. We're just gonna do the sounds today because that's what we did this morning because you know me, I like to mix it up. Okay, so O consonant E, what sound is that? O, correct. O with the macron. U consonant E. U, correct, U with the macron. E consonant E. E with the macron. I consonant E. I with the macron. X, what sound does that make? K so you're going to write K S. Again, please pause whenever you need to. Don't feel like I'm rushing you. Okay, I'm really sorry for that. Y makes the Y sound. So I'm just going to put in Y. Seven says SH. Digraph SH. So I'm going to write SH. Eight says UH. UH. So I'm going to write O O with a big, huge breath across the top. Nine says ooh. So I'm gonna write O O with a macron above the top. And 10 says J, J. So I'm just gonna write a J in my sound bars. Number 11, we are gonna write these things, 11, 12, 13. I'm gonna write L, and then I'm going to write really tall lines that look like this. 
and remember we've talked about these before, those mean the final digraph or the final sound of a word. So L makes the final sound and the same sound as LL. -L. S makes the same sound as SS. And F makes the same sound as FF. Okay? Now all we have to do, we don't have to code any words today. It's pretty nice. All we have to do is we are going to spell these words, and then you guys can do the backside um, with your sisters or with mom or dad. 14, what is that a picture of? Shell. So just like it sounds. Sh. S H E L L. Fifteen. What is that? Dress. D er S. Sixteen is our funny one. That is what? Frog. F R O. G. Okay. Number 17. This is a what? Not a cup, but a glass. G U S. G L A S S. 18 is tricky. No one ever gets it. It's the bottom of your pant leg or even right here on like a dress shirt. It's called a cuff. So it's C U F F. So you learned something new about clothing today. And then our last one is that what's that a picture of? Correct. It's a picture of a bell. B E L L. So the floss rule works with F S L F F S S L L and when we code those words we know that they don't say s s f f u u they just say their sounds f s u so then we cross off one of them the last one okay if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask um i will be sending this out to you shortly and I really hope to see you guys soon. We really miss you guys. Bye.